We're going to be making a clay nudibranch, also known as a sea slug. You're going to need your placemat to keep your clay from sticking to your table. Grab a strip of paper to create your name tag. Write your name on it with a sharpie and put it off to the side. Once you get your clump of clay, you're going to take the palm of your hand and you're going to press down to flatten it out. We first do this with our hands before we get our roller. It'll make it a little bit easier. So you can use your one hand, flatten it out, use two hands a little bit. We're just not drumming on it. Once you have gotten those big lumps out, you'll be able to grab your roller. Roll up and down as well as side to side. Just make sure you don't get it too thin. We don't want it thin like a potato chip. We want it thick like a cookie. If you press too hard, oh my goodness, it could flatten it out and get even get stuck on your roller. So I'm just going to take that off. I'm just gonna leave it to the side. I can actually use it for some decorations later. Make sure it is even. Keep it thick so it won't crumble and break. That area got too thin, so I'm just going to fold it back and flatten it out a little bit more. Now it's time for us to add some texture and every table will have some different texture tools to use. You might have rollers, you might have stamps to press into your clay. You're gonna want to fill the whole thing with texture for your sea slug. So use different materials or whatever you have in order to do that. If you have tools like a marker top, be careful as you press in because you can actually make a hole in your clay and get the clay stuck in the marker lid. So don't press down too hard if you are using that type of tool. Now that I have finished adding all of my texture, I'm gonna put my clay on that kind of lump potato shape. This will help form the body of my sea slug. I place the clay on top, find that center, and then I gently hug it with my hands. Kind of make sure it gets the shape of that slump mold. Now I need to cut along the edges. I'm gonna use my needle tool. Be careful because it is sharp. You might have also have a wooden pencil tool. Either one will work. I'm cutting a wavy sort of line for the bottom of my sea slug. This will make it look more like it's waving in the water as it swims. I'm taking that extra clay and putting it off to the side because I'm going to use it to build more parts onto my sea slug. I'm going to scoop my sea slug out of the way so I have some space. And I'm going to take off a chunk and I'm going to roll some coils because I want to try to make some antenna looking shapes. So I'm going to make my coil, see how long I want it to be. I like to flatten the bottom of it just so that it can attach better onto the body of my sea slug. Once I have the antennas, I'm going to use either my wooden pencil tool or my needle tool to scratch. I need to scratch the bottom of the antenna and I need to scratch where I'm placing it. We scratch so we can attach. Scratch both pieces. And then if we have some slip out, that watery stuff, you're just going to do one finger touch and tap. You tap, you don't smudge, otherwise those lines you made disappear. And then wiggle it in place. Make sure you wiggle it. You're gonna repeat that for your other antenna as well. To make sure it really stays on there, you can use a popsicle stick or you can use your finger to kind of blend that clay into the body of your sea slug. 
just like that. Now I'm gonna make another coil. I might make some ridges, waves along the back. I can make some spots, whatever you want to decorate your sea slug. Now I'm gonna add some gills and they're kind of these crazy spiky looking things that come off of it. Remember gills help them breathe. We're gonna use a garlic press and a clump of clay. I like to first make sure there's no dried clay, ugh, like that, in my garlic press. And then I'm gonna take that clump of clay and just pop it in the opening. As I close the garlic press, it'll push the clay out through the holes, just like that. And then I can remove that. I can use any of the tools available to scrape it off. I kind of clump them together. And again, I need to scratch it to attach it. And they can go anywhere on your sea slug. So scratch both pieces, tap and wiggle it in place. I'm just gonna use that last little bit of clay, add some little, I don't know, can eyeball thing mabobbers all over around, little button shapes, just to add some more texture to my sea slug. Now that I have all my clay pieces attached where I want, I can use my wooden pencil tool and carefully just poke in some holes. Now, you don't want too many, maybe like three, four, possibly five at most. I might do a little more in this, oopsies. This can be if we add some pipe cleaners to ours. So if you want some little extras, once they're done, just do a few holes. As you finish, it's time to put our name tag on it. If I stick my name tag in the top, it's just gonna create a crease and a line on my sea slug. So I'm actually just gonna tuck it right underneath between the lump and the slug. And there we have our finished sea slugs. Let's see what they'll look like once we get to add some of that color. 